Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again and we'll see who we are going to randomise as. We've actually managed to build, 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 build up a decent streak. Build up a decent streak. We played as Samson recently. Let's play as Tainted Apollyon this time. Always, always a fun character. Just because we've got the um, Abyss Plus Plus mod on. And playing as a Tainted character is always better because it means there's more unlocks for us. But we'll try our best here to use Abyss a little more often and grab as many flies as we can. For example, like Kamikaze, we'll definitely be taking a little grab of that. And that should give us some better... Uh, I'm going to keep calling them Wisps, but they are indeed Locusts. But yes... I am going to mistakenly call them wisps a lot. But today's question of the day is, what is something you wish you could be good at, but you just aren't slash can't? One thing for me has always been art. I used to, like, I'm not a terrible artist. Like, I know how to, like, put together nice thumbnails and stuff, but I could never draw the actual characters like my thumbnail artist does. Like, I'm just... It just it's just lost on me i'd love to be able to get better at it and I, I realize a lot of people will just say oh well it just takes time and practice you'll get better but it's like i don't really have the time and practice <laughs> i don't have the time to get good at it i wish i was and i know that a lot of people although they do put in a lot of effort and get better over time have a some degree of natural talent i think that's also the same for me musically as well like i'm not musical at all i don't play any instruments also only Rock Destroyed gave us a crawl surf. That's pretty nice. But I've not really, I don't really play any instruments at all. I never have. And I kind of wish I could. I did try to learn the acoustic guitar when I was younger. And I just wasn't very good at it. So I'm always quite jealous of people that are really, really musically talented. Is this just like a little hook? Okay. I think I've just. There you go. Give me dry, baby. I'll take it. Um, We'll check in here. Hmm, I don't think there's unfortunately anything in here that I actually want. I mean, deck of cards is maybe good. I maybe should have sucked up Dry Baby with Abyss there, but I kind of felt like keeping him. He's a cute little fella. But yeah, I've always wanted to be a lot better at art than I am. And it, like I said, it is one of those things that I realize a lot of people just will just give you the advice of just put the practice in. But it's like, I don't really have the time to put the practice in. And I'm not saying I want to be like a world-class artist without any practice whatsoever. But I do wish I had a smidgen more natural talent for it. Um, and I mean, it, it's different skills for different fellas. Like, I, I, I've spoken to a few people before that have um, either friends or just people on YouTube, on the comment sections, that have tried doing YouTube before. Because I've, I've had a few people in my past that have been like, oh, the, the content you make is is easy. Like, it's it's it takes no effort whatsoever. You just sit down and talk. And while, for me, it does kind of feel that way, it doesn't feel like I have to put in a ton of effort but that's only because i've gotten good at it slash was already in so, to some respects i want to grab this uh, soul heart here but i don't know if i can let's see if i can grab a bomb um yeah it's one of those kind of things uh where for me it doesn't feel all too hard but that's only because i've been doing it for so long but i have had a few of the people and a few friends that have tried getting into youtube and they, they, they they've just not been able to they've just not really understood how Okay, so I would love to grab Broken Murden, but I think we were better off doing this. Um, and then we can come back and grab the reverse card and see what that is as well. Yeah, and it is, I think it's something that people don't really initially realize how difficult it can be. Because um, you've got to have a somewhat natural talent for being able to just talk shit. And you've got to be, for one, comfortable with talking to yourself. Because obviously you are, in the moment, just talking to nothing. Like, you're not actually speaking to anyone in particular but also you've got to be kind of comfortable with um listening back over your own voice i think that's something that a lot of people find really difficult uh, that's one of the big parts that people really struggle with is having to hear their own voice uh, we actually could grab a um, black market item now that we have some soul heart health yeah i think a lot of people uh, struggle with listening to their own voice and that's completely fine do you know what i'm gonna go a little hard here i'm gonna take both of these uh, we'll see what we get here we got a moon card i'll pop the moon card now hey some more money here might have actually been able to grab broken murder if i known about this a little earlier but oh uh, well unless i get a dime or a nickel here then maybe but we didn't Ooh, we're actually one penny short um Hmm. We're a single penny short. Okay, so let's first of all go back down here. We might actually be able to grab Baroque and Murder before Lucky, so I'm going to try my best to do so. We'll grab that first. 
We'll destroy our fires here and see if that yields us anything. But yeah, I, I, th I actually think getting um, there's options on the first floor so every boss has a choice of two items is pretty strong. Um, I'm sure there's a poop or something somewhere. But yeah, it's like it's, it's kind of one of those things where I, f I feel like it's somewhat part of natural talent. and nat I, won't, I won't even call it talent, but ability. Um, and then somewhat it is kind of practiced. I mean, if I go back and look at some of my earlier videos, I was a lot less comfortable in my own skin. I was a lot less... See, we have pennies there, but I'd have to lose a heart or two. Uh, I was a lot less comfortable with myself, a lot less comfortable with just talking in general. And it, it, it was a shame, uh, but that's kind of, I feel like, the hurdle you have to get over when you decide you want to do YouTube. Oh, thank you. I feel one problem with a lot of people is they they don't ever get over that hurdle. They, they see people doing YouTube, either friends or just other people on YouTube, and think, oh, that looks ace, I really want to do that. Um, and honestly, yeah, I completely understand it. That's kind of wh where I came from myself. But then they kind of do it. And they get stuck at one or two viewers on Twitch or like just a few video uh, viewers on their videos. And then they just give up because they go, oh, well, I'm not growing really quickly, so I'm not going to continue doing this anymore. And it's like I can understand that the, the sort of defeatist part of it is very, very easy to lean into. And honestly, I've had many days myself where... Um, where I self-doubt, I'm like, oh, should I keep doing YouTube? I'm not growing very fast. I'm not getting that many views or whatnot. I mean, recently, that's not really been the case because I've actually had a massive influx of views recently. You guys have been absolutely killing it on the Isaac series. I'm always excited to play this game and keep coming back to it because you guys just like it so much. Um, of course, uh, I'm getting like over... My, my, my goal on YouTube when I first started was a pretty, pretty minimal compared to some people, but it was always to get to... Um, Subscriber count was always 10,000. That's that's a huge goal of mine. If I get to 10,000, I'll be super happy. Um, and view-wise, it was always to have at least one series, common series, that I that always gets guaranteed 1,000 views. And Isaac has reached that for the past, like, maybe month now, maybe even longer. We've been getting 1,000 views a video very consistently, up to about 3 or 4K with some of them as well, which is... Why, uh, way beyond what I was uh, what, what I was imagining. So super, super, super happy that the uh, channel got to that point. So I haven't really had any reason to be down about my YouTube channel at the moment. But during my during sort of my my growth period, where I was sort of first finding my footing and first discovering how to grow my channel, it was it was a little difficult. It was a little touch and go. I had a few days here and there, a few a few months even, where I I really wasn't very confident at all in my abilities, and I was a little. Um, a little worried that I wasn't going to be doing too well. Um, I'll take you. Yeah, I was a little worried that I wasn't going too well, and I was worried, like, should I spend my time on this? But at the end of the day, I was kind of like, as long as someone, as long as there's even just one person out there that is enjoying and commenting and having a good time with my content, this is a very hard room, by the way, uh, but as long as there's one person out there that's in, ah, I've messed up here. Oh, no, that bomb rock saved my life. As long as there's one person out there that's enjoying my content um, and commenting and making it known that they enjoy my content, I'm going to keep doing it because I enjoy making it. And while I'd be fine with making it even if there was no one watching, obviously when there's people watching it gives it more of a purpose. Got another one of these eternal rooms here. I'm not, not really sure what the spawn condition for those is or if it's completely random or what. Uh, hopefully we get a card here that leans towards, that's very nice, that leans towards damage. That's beautiful. Uh, we'll take Pergatory here. Not a great item. I maybe should have actually abyssed it, but I'm, I'm reasonably happy with, with uh, our situation. It's all good. It's all good. We, we don't need a lot of flies when we've got this sort of run going on. And of course, right now, we've got a very good situation because we've actually got um, Dark Bum coming in clutch. Ooh, Explosive Diarrhea. Oh, I can't believe that. Explosive Diarrhea did literally zero damage. That's a little bit of a shame. But yeah, to all of you out there that have tried doing YouTube in the past or want to do YouTube in the future, I think that's sort of a, a big bit of advice that I'd say to you. Just try and keep pushing forward. Don't get too down about your viewership. I would say as long as you are happy with your content and you believe it is good, people will come. It might take time, but people will arrive. As long as you are confident in the content you are putting out, um, and as long as it, you think it's of decent quality, if it's, if it's a video that you would watch, then you're probably onto a winner. 
Um, and I feel like that's the case for a lot of my content. I even do actually, it, it sounds a little snobby, but I do often go back like maybe once every two or three weeks and I'll just like watch one of my videos in full. And like, um, I, like I mean like an older video as well, one from like two or three weeks ago that I don't remember the commentary or even the run sometimes, uh, depending on what the game is, of course. But normally I do it with Isaac. And I just kind of say, hey, was my was my commentary up to scratch this uh, this episode? Gameplay is a bit of a smaller one because that's not really up to me, um, at least for the most part. So it's kind of like, yeah, was was my commentary up to scratch? Did, do I feel like I did a good job of entertaining? And a lot of the time recently, I've I've been reasonably happy with myself. I think I've gotten into a good flow, especially with the Isaac series, where I kind of know how to keep the conversation flowing. I tend to keep the first half of the video around to just random chit chat. And the second half kind of tailors a little more into the Isaac based talk. And that's usually just due to how, how the run goes. And it, it depends, sometimes it can switch, sometimes it can flip flop, sometimes it depends on the run itself to how much we talk about Isaac, how much we talk about life. It also depends on like if I'm caffeinated, what's happened recently. There's, there's a lot of different variables actually that kind of contribute towards how good the commentary ends up being. But one thing that, that's always reassuring assuring is I've never had complaints or at least never had legitimate complaints that aren't just trolls about the commentary so that's always been good um we haven't seen our item room yet have we oh wait did we did we get dark bum I think we got dark bum didn't we I'm gonna have to go check I'm pretty sure we got dark bum but I need to find out okay take that bad boy Thank you very much. Okay, there is a few rooms over here we didn't actually check out. It's good that I came this way. Okay, so I think I think item room was Yeah, item room's there, cool. Okay, I thought I'd seen it. I thought I'd seen it. Okay, we'll we'll keep pushing on. And like I said, it just kind of switches up between runs depending on what's going on in the, the, the situation. Because some runs call, especially runs that are a bit of a struggle bus, call for a lot more game-based game commentary. But I've always sort of said with my channel that I kind of pride myself on entertaining commentary and informative commentary. So I will talk about the game a good amount because I like to try and, one, sort of educate and show off mods, uh, but also try and teach people how to be better at games that I'm good at, like the Banning of Isaac and Enter the Gungeon. Especially my very first series. My For, for those of you that don't know, I actually made my sort of debut onto YouTube. First of all, making some video tutorials on Enter the Gungeon, like just some tips and tricks. But then I actually did a Enter the Gungeon series uh, where I, I went from a 0% to 100% save file. And that was kind of my first debut into YouTube. And that was a, a daily series that I did. Um, are you kidding me? It can activate any random pill and activated telepills, meaning I don't get my devil deal. To be fair, it means I can just go angel deal, but I was going to go devil deal. So that is a little bit annoying. Um... But hey her, it is what it is. Um, yeah, and I actually made my debut playing uh, Enter the Gungeon. And in that series, I feel like that was a great one. I'm actually going to leave the Devil Deal. I've decided on Angel now. Uh, I might even try and do Mega Satan here. Um, yeah, I, I sort of based the, the very first iteration of my channel off of trying to teach people to play games better. Because especially Enter the Gungeon, I feel like Enter the Gungeon is a roguelike that a lot of people love but not that many people are good at. And I feel like it's just because it has a very steep learning curve. Like, I feel like it's one of those weird ones where it has a very steep learning curve, but then it very quickly plateaus. Meaning that, like, when when you first play it and in the early, like, even first 50 hours, you have a really hard time and you really, really struggle. Ooh, you are a mimic, I see you. And you are a fake item as well. You've, cheat, you've cheated me out of an item I wanted. That's very upsetting. Lead pencil, though, I will take. Um... Quite like lead pencil. What was I saying again? I can't remember now. Legitimately cannot remember whatsoever what I was talking about. Oh no. It's so frustrating for you guys as well because you will very clearly remember it. But I can't remember at all. Um, um, let me just place this down here. I don't remember at all. Damn it. I don't remember at all. Ugh. That's frustrating. I completely ruined my train of thought. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Um, so I, I tried to um, 
I tried to make sure all my videos were, were really informative. I kind of played a little slower. I, I very um, I very clearly explained my decision-making process. And I even still do that in this series to some extent. Obviously not as much now because one, Isaac's a more well-known game. And for two, uh, a lot of people that are watching the series are usually people that have played the game a lot themselves or at least have watched it a lot so already know a lot of the basics. I don't have to cover them as much. Whereas Enter the Gungeon, I feel like it had that sort of issue, as I was saying, with the plateau where it starts off in the first 50 hours being pretty darn difficult, even past that. And then once you've got it, once something clicks in your mind and you've won a few runs, it becomes really easy. Um, or at least it did for me. And I feel like that's that that, give, that gave me the ability to teach it pretty well. Give me the ability to, to give people pretty useful tips and tricks on how to, uh, how to play it. Oh, God. Another Emperor card. Yeah, and I, I kind of I kind of carried that over into uh, into Isaac as much as possible. And it's, this is another thing I've kind of given this tip a few times before. One thing that people really struggle with when starting channels or just doing YouTube in general is filling dead air. Is like you you don't really want to ever stop talking when you're doing a YouTube video because you don't want to have 15, 20 seconds, whatever, of just no talking whatsoever because that's not what the viewers here for unless they're going to a like no commentary channel, but they're not. So you don't really want to provide that experience. You want to make sure that you're constantly free-flowing. And a lot of people have trouble where you're doing an, uh, a run like Isaac. How the hell do you constantly keep talking for upwards of an hour without really leaving any major gaps? And it is kind of difficult. It is definitely a learned skill. But one thing that I did in the early days, and I still do to this day in some runs uh, and some different games, especially in Revita recently. Um, uh, that's been a new game to me. Okay, this is a difficult boss. Not only is he eternal, but the Bernies he spawns are eternal. Um, so thank you for that very bigly. But this, this is this, this could be difficult. Oh goddamn! He fires tears as well. This is a really cool fight. I really like this. I'm having a, a little bit of a hard time with it, I'll be honest. But it's cool. Hey, he walked into the spikes. Hit my dry baby. Thank you. That helped me muchly. Okay. This is kind of a tricky one. Latch key. Okay. Um, I think latch key is a little better for us right now. We need the soul heart. And the key is actually pretty nice. But yeah, I'll, I'll uh, try to fill the air. Okay, holy mantle is really good. Salvation's also really good. But I think holy mantle is just like a must take. Um, and I will crack you open as well. I know we can't get both the angels here, but that's fine. Um, is I'll, I'll just try to fill the, fill the dead air whenever I need to by talk, talking through my process. I'll kind of explain what I'm doing and why. And I think Binding of Isaac, it's got a lot of intricacies and a lot of different things and methods that people that are less knowledgeable about the game might not know about. So I feel like from an experienced player standpoint, that was a really bad hit there, but it only hit a holy mantle. Um, I think it's a really, really, really solid way of filling that dead air without it being... Like you don't want to, you don't want to fill dead air for filling dead air's sake. If you've got nothing to say, then people aren't going to want to listen. Like you don't want to just talk nonsense sort of thing. Like I think part of the talent is actually speaking nonsense in a way, like like talking about random crap. But you don't want to. Oh, I always get so spooked out by those. But you don't want to literally talk nonsense. You don't want to be saying nothing for no reason just to fill dead air. But I feel like one way, especially if you're experienced with the, the game that you're playing is to make it clear why you're doing what you're doing, why you're making the decisions you're making. Like, for example, if I was to do it with this situation, I am currently fighting the angel to try and get a key piece to go to Mega Saiyan because I want to try and get a few extra unlocks, get a new completion mark. But I'm also trying to kite the um, the angel boss around the room for a specific reason. One, it gives me a little better um, accuracy on the um, different attacks that he has. I can kind of predict them a little bit better. That's just annoying. Um, I am going to get that bomb. I knew I was going to get hit for it, but whatever. Um, yeah, it gives me a little more information and a little more time to react to the attacks and the, uh, the, the things that they do before the attacks. But also on top of that, I was kiting them around the room because the angels take damage from fires. So I can kite the boss specifically directly into that purple fire in the center of the room, as well as the others around the corner to deal some additional damage. And I'm doing that because I'm currently sitting at reasonably low damage and fire rate. So it's a little more relevant. Whereas other characters, I probably wouldn't need to do that as much. This character, it becomes more of a relevancy. It, it becomes sort of more of a necessity even. Um, and that's just a, a really sort of 
Ooh, the pale is so good. The pale is so good. Uh, I will take the pale. Um, ooh, intriguing. How on earth does this work, then? Oh, God, I lost my holy mantle. So we got this room again. Hello. Don't steal my charges. No. Okay, we've not actually got anything in here that I really want, to be honest. Um, yeah, not so much. But this is just going to hit me, right? Okay, no, he didn't manage it. Cool room. I think the Holy Mantle made that a whole hell of a lot easier, but cool room. That's an interesting one. Yeah, I'll definitely take the pale here. And yeah, I think I think that a lot of people don't really know how to do that. I don't really understand the importance of it. Um, and it's it's actually a huge part, at least for me, of of keeping my commentary interesting. Because I, I feel like I'm not I'm not just filling dead air with with crap. I'm I'm actually giving some relevant information that makes all the sense. And it's 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 like even like if people want to know why I'm taking the pale, I I have had a few requests recently of people asking why I'm making certain decisions with modded items because they don't understand what they do. The pale is an item from the uh, the sewer collection mod that is an active, it's a 12 room charge, oh sorry, 8 room charge I believe it is, so it's just a little more than a regular active, but it does a few different things. For one, it creates a mass of poops, which um, generally isn't that useful, but the poops can be of any variety from uh, Tainted Blue Baby, meaning that you can get holy poops, um, you can get poison ones, which means they can be used in a combat situation. Um, and then on top of that, do you know what? I've got a bit of an idea here. Uh, but on, on top of that, you've then got the fact that it destroys rocks and opens secret rooms. And then on top of that, you've got the fact that it fills in gaps. So it's got multiple purposes. And while the charge is relatively high, it still makes it a really, really solid choice. Um, so if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm just taking the Lust card. I can pop that to gain more hearts and play this guy a little bit. I don't want to play him too much because I don't want to lose my Eternal Heart. But I'm willing to lose all of these Red Hearts to try and get into Payout, which unfortunately he is taking his sweet, sweet time to do. And we just keep getting Emperor cards, don't we? My lord. I'm just going to pop this Emperor card now. Oh, hello. This is an Eternal version of Peep that has many eyes. I'm a little scared at the minute because honestly my damage is very piss poor. I'm, I'm under the understanding that instead of just two eyes, he's going to have six, which is incredibly, incredibly frightening for this room. I probably should have waited for the pale to be ready. I do have one free hit in Holy Mantle, so that's not too bad. Um, I'm trying to use Purgatory and Lead Pencil to the best of my ability here. It is a little difficult. Oh, I think I destroyed one of his eyes there, actually. I think, I think they're... Uh, they are destroyable. But yeah, this is going to be six eyes total, which is kind of crazy. Okay, no. I destroyed one of them earlier. So I can shoot them to get rid. I shouldn't use that bomb there, but it does go through boss armor. I don't know if this guy has any, but still. Little bit of a tricky room, I'll be honest. Little bit of a tricky room, but I'm intrigued nonetheless. I like it. Okay, we actually got some more hearts here we can play around with. And yeah, I feel like it's a, it's a really valuable skill. I feel like just in general, like if you're not even doing YouTube, just in life, being able to like talk for long periods of time without feeling uncomfortable and without sort of dropping interest of who you're speaking to is just a general life skill anyways. Um, I wouldn't say it's a huge one, of course, but I, I think it is pretty important. Uh, I'm, I, in, in my actual day job, I, I tend to use that skill a decent amount. I am often in charge of like onboarding and introducing customers to our product, uh, which means that I speak to ver various people on a day-to-day -day basis, and that comes in handy quite a lot. So I think we're going to use the pale in this room here. You see, it did open a secret room. It filled in those gaps, which allows us to get that eternal heart, and it produced a poop that did mass damage to the entire room. It's all good. Addicted. We'll take double damage if we're not careful here, but we do have Holy Mantle, so that shouldn't happen. Got this. Unfortunately, a very terrible secret room, so it didn't matter at all. But still worth it for the extra ability to get this chest and the Eternal Heart. Not that the Eternal Heart was super useful, because we already had half, but still pretty good. And I, I don't know what it is. I don't know, like, sort of where it came from, um, in terms of my ability to speak like I do. Um, 
I feel like I just generally had that skill f like throughout my most of my life. It's like I was saying about like a certain level of natural uh, skill for it. I feel like I've always been able to just talk shit for hours on end, much to much to my parents' dismay because I would just like chat shit to them all the time, and they probably got really really frustrated and annoyed that I wouldn't shut the hell up. But um, it kind of helped me later in life, both in work and in uh, in my hobby. Which, by the way. Something I, I, I like to clarify reasonably often. This is a hobby for me. I do not make my money off of this. I have a day job as well. I work full time as well as this. I, I, I've seen, I wouldn't say a lot, but I've seen a, a, a decent amount of comments of people that seem to assume this is my job. I Just to let you know, you can't really make a living on YouTube on 7k subs. You would need around 25 to 50k minimum and you would be living on the bread line you, you'd be you'd be kind of struggling so it's uh it, yeah i'd have to have a good amount of subs before i i'd ever consider switching over to full-time youtube i'd love to of course i'd love to but it's a it's a long 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 ways away and i think people don't realize that uh for me but I'm, do you know something that I'm struggling with right now? We need some fucking tears upgrades, my dudes. We need some tears upgrades heftily. We're getting good HP. We've got good items, to be fair. Holy Mantle, Lead Pencil, Broken Modem, all fantastic. Dark Bums helping out with the HP situation. Our HP's been basically fine this entire run due to that little fella. But we are majorly, majorly lacking. Okay, that was not really a worthwhile use, but oh well. Majorly, majorly lacking in the fire rate department. We are, it's actually really bad. And the thing is, lead pencil is triggered via our fire rate. So the worse our fire rate, the worse lead pencil becomes. So that's unfortunate. That's a lot of keys. I'm just going to go to the shop here because I think we can buy some stuff. Mutton to the Eternal, dude. Okay, he's not actually that bad. He just fires a few extra shots. We can deal with him. Okay, so we'll buy the soul hearts, why not? We did actually get a sewing machine in here, which I didn't actually see. I think it spawned after the fact, which is weird. I would have rather spent my money on that, to be honest, to up, up, uh, grade dry, dry boy, dry baby. I'm quickly going to go and uh, trade some more of my HP into that dark bum and hope to get either some valuable cards or an item that will... Uh, Little pop off for us. I forgot that I can abyss this. I don't know why I've just left it there. I'm sure you guys were just yelling into the screen, abyss it, abyss it, and I just completely forgot. So I apologize about that. It's done now. Come on, dude. Uh, makes rewards from red chests more exciting. I'll take it. Oh, come on now. You gave me a card that lets you pl lets me play you more. Please pay out. There you go. Was that so hard? Was that so hard? I do think, yeah, I gotta say, I cost myself some uh, soul hearts by using that red heart thing there, but it's fine. That card's really useful. I like it a lot. It's not always super useful, but it can come in clutch in certain situations. Right, let's keep it moving. Keeper, keeper moving, keeper moving along. Yeah, I think it's just a, it's just an interesting sort of game you have to play and get used to. For me, it's pretty much second nature now. I've been doing Repentance daily for over a year, and I've been, I'd been doing Enter the Gungeon daily for a while before that, and lots of other various games. I mean, I've been doing YouTube itself daily for getting on for four years, so. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably used to it. Okay, can, oh. Let's get my holy mantle back. One second. There's a, there's a tinted rock back there that I want, but it's in a really precarious position. I don't know if you saw it. But I really love a small rock right now, so I'm, like, super intrigued by it. Let's get holy mantle back again. Okay, that worked out. That worked out. We, do, we got, only got a soul heart. Unfortunately, ooh, eternal version of you. Wait, wait, no, you're not eternal, are you? I, th I think he's just the uh, recolored version. 
from the other floor. I don't think he's eternal. Ooh, so familiar zealand contact damage is pretty good here. That's real good. That's really, really good. But I do think the pale... It, it pales in comparison. <laughs> I'll abyss there, Bob's right on head, though. It pales in comparison. Do you get it? <laughs> I am full of dad jokes, and it is terrible. More than likely a secret room. There you go. I don't know what it is about the secret rooms, but I've just proper got a feel for them at the moment. It's great. Grab that. Yeah, I've just proper got a feel for them. I just feel like I know exactly where they are a lot of the time. I realize I missed one on the last floor, but second secret room's a little... It's a little different. It's not really the same case. Okay, we got quite a lot of different pills here. I'm willing to take them all. Tears up. Yes, speed up. Yes, addicted. Mitosis. Speed down. Okay, the tears up is all I needed, really. That has put us in a so much of a better position. I still think our tears aren't good, but we are we are sitting a little more pretty than we were prior, so very happy about that. Very happy indeed. Beautiful. Sack dagger? Yeah, I'll take it. Spawns two batteries. Ooh. The Magus could be pretty interesting for us here. Wait, can I fully mount all this? I can. Beautiful. Lovely reflected little fella. Just waiting for the right moment to use my pail here. I want to be a big enough room where I can potentially find a secret room or get over a gap. I'll destroy enough rocks for it to be potentially finding a crawl space. There's a lot of different variables to where I want to use it best. I'm not really finding them at the moment, though, which is a shame. Okay, this is a good room. There you go. We uh, destroyed this dude and got a card pack. We also got a full heal from that, too, which is rather nice. Maybe should have used that after the judgment, really, thinking about it now. Judgment. That's a regular judgment. Got a hero font here. Beautiful. Also, you gotta you gotta appreciate the absolutely ginormous farts you do whenever you use the pail. It's quite delicious. Ooh, 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 ooh. hello. Found soul. Um shoots spectral tears, copies your stats. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll take that. We shall take that. That's that's quite a lot of extra damage for us here. Oh, uh, wait. Done. Isn't there a isn't there a game crash with the uh with the the cracks in the ground? If I touch them both, it crash my game. I've got to test that out now. I think it's like if you if you touch them both and finish the room before the ghosts hit, it crashes your game. Something along those lines. I know it's definitely a game crash that wasn't fixed. Purple candle. Uh, we've, we've had that before. I'll just take this for now. There's our secret room. We also got a golden poop there. Ooh, hello. Might be able to play you out a little bit. This is a munchy chest. We'll eat our red health and eventually pay out with some good stuff. Unfortunately, we'd actually lose our little baby for that. It's a shame. But he'll return on the next floor. Do not worry. Do not fret. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of bebskis you got there, fella. And they're all dead. Okay, I think we're I think we've entered a, a phase of, of normalcy with this run now. I think we're having a pretty good time and not having to worry too much. I'm trying to use Sack Dagger when I can because the damage on it is still pretty redonkulous. Okay. Hopefully this guy settles down and we can stab him a little bit too. Yeah, little bit of a an off hit there, but that's fine. We even got a bomb on him as well. I think Sister Vizzes do have some boss armor, so we're clearly seeing that there. Speed and range or speed and shot speed? I think speed and shot speed, I think. 
Nice. I think they're both the same level of speed upgrade. I'm not 100% sure, actually. I'm pretty sure. Because didn't... I think I think Roid Rage used to be a 0 0.6 speed up and it got nerfed, which is fair, because it was just an absolutely ridiculous amount of speed to gain from a single item. Wait. Okay, no, it didn't crash. Oh, wait, I forgot as well. Our little ghost buddy gets Holy Mantle as well, which is awesome. Okay, it's not crashing the game, but it might not be that. Battle of Soul Stones. Hello. Intriguing. So I think we want to carry this for now, and we might come back for Soul of the Forgotten if we find a sacrifice room. Soul of the Forgotten and sacrifice room is kind of the main usage for it, in my opinion. It lets us play the thing six times for free, which is the exact amount of number of players you need to have a chance at both of the angel items. So it's like the perfect combination. Okay, whoa. Slinky neck boy. Calm down. God, Broken Murdom is messing these enemies up. They're just like permafrost. Having a really hard time. Thank you. Still got a ghosty friend alive. Good. Oh, oh, the mask dude is causing problems. Ah, causing huge problems. Okay, let's try and find that item room first here. Let's try and find it and be all right. Ooh, that locust might be kind of nice. Although, we can't really grab it because we need, we need the trinket we've got right now. I'll do this. Hey, we've also got the small chance for the giant poop and we found our secret room. All good stuff happened there. All good stuff happened. Spawning a black heart and another black heart. Beautiful. Very well done. Fortune telling machine? I guess we could play this for... Each room has a 50% chance of receiving the buff of BFF stacks with BFF. That's kind of interesting. I'd like it. If we could carry both, I'd love that, but we can't. I'm not going to play this too much. I kind of want to get Crystal Ball, just so I can re-roll it. But that's, like, pretty unlikely. Okay, let's leave it there. We got uh, turns all pickups enemies into Wisps. Oh, wow. That's strong. Let's, uh, let's go and abuse that. We'll come back for our uh, soul of Isaac in a moment. But we want to go into this big room over here and turn every enemy in there into a wisp. Ace of Wands. There you go. And that's my voice. Ace of Wands. I do need to improve those voiceovers. I like them. I think they're pretty good. They're just not as meaty as the as the in-game ones. And I had a I, I did mess around a little bit with them. I just couldn't get it. I need to be more raspy. I need to like smoke a pack of cigarettes before I do it or something. Not that I'd ever do that, but that would work. <laughs> I just want to find a way like with maybe Audacity or something. If anyone's good with Audacity, let me know and maybe I could work with you to help improve those a little bit, make them sound a little meatier because I would like them to sound substantially meatier than they currently do. The current iterations are good, they're okay, but they definitely could do to be, be a bit better in my opinion. But thank you, Ipecac, uh, for asking me to do this. I much appreciate it. I really enjoy making those. They're really fun. Good, 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 good. Item room. Where are you? Where are you, item room? So far away. That's actually really nice having two of the purgatory things. Makes the rooms, like, very quick. Okay, the shop is actually pretty good for us here. It's weird to be oftentimes spawned in the same place. Blue candle. No thank you. I haven't found my first secret room yet, so I'll maybe save the pale to try and find that. I could save for my boss as well, because we could get, like, various different poop types that help to kill the boss. Also a pretty good use of the pale. 
This is most definitely an abyss. Right. Where could it be? It's kind of likely to be in this room, to be honest. Um, let me just try that out. Let me let me get in line with this door here. It is, okay. I didn't want to use the pail in here because it just seemed to be like a bit of a waste. And honestly, right. First of all, let's do that. Got a crack key. Let's do that. Y'all know what time it is. It literally instantly. <laughs> TM Trainer, you dirty dog. Unfortunately, it looks like we're replaying this floor because TM Trainer instantly crashed my game, which is really funny, but also quite annoying. Yeah, it does unfortunately mean that we're replaying the floor, but I do find that kind of hilarious. Are you going to jump? Okay. I'm just trying to think of what we need to do this floor. What, what did we do last time? Secret room was back over this way. We haven't done the boss yet. Secret room was here. Okay. Did we play this much at all? I don't think we did. We did have a lot more money. Oh, we got that. And then we also got the card, didn't we? I'm actually okay with not getting that card. That's fine. So the, the question is, do I want to try and get Team Trainer again? Or are we pretty sure it'll crash the game? Oh, that's a lot of tears. Holy hell. Okay, I've lost both my holy mantles at this point. So let's, let's try not and have our little buddy die. Okay, that's fine. Good, good. We should use the pail in here and see what happens. We got our gigantic poop again. We got a lucky penny there as well. That was a very terrible big poop. Got very little from that. But a rotten heart's not bad. Right. Yeah, the question is, do I want to try and get TM Trainer again? I'm, I'm fairly sure I'll probably just crash my game again, right? I'm fairly sure of it. We did get the same soul stones though, which is good to know. Soul of the I guess we'll just take it. We'll just take it and run with it. We'll go and get our uh, item room because honestly, why not? We'll abyss it. Hey, we got this again. This time we got an eternal. The eternal champions aren't scripted. They aren't uh, seeded, sorry, by the looks of things. Hey, this time, even better. This time we got a heart out of it. In fact, maybe use it here and see what we get. I'll take the little chest, honestly. I'll take the little chest. The little chest is potentially more useful in the long run. Yeah, Broken Murder does make this room a little funky. Because the guys get stuck a little bit and out of order. But they're not exactly difficult. There you go. Keys, keys everywhere, and not a drop to drink. Yeah, when we can do double purgatory, that's just great. Ooh, baby temperance, maybe. Sweet baby temperance. Doo, doo, doo. Sadly, nothing from that. Can't remember what was over to the left. Trying to keep my little buddy alive. Broken Murder is helping with that a ton. And we can abyss here. Yeah, okay, so let's just let's just ditch out this floor. We do still want to go to our secret room because we got a cracked key in there last time. I don't know if the red rocks are seeded, but I'll at least check. So this time, let's go here. And it was like here, right? Okay, so it's not they're not scripted, but we did get one anyways. So that's fine. Oh, he actually gave us the black heart. Nice. Um, I don't actually know where my red room would be here. I'm going to try somewhere off of this room. I doubt that's going to be it. In fact, it's a curse room too, which is 
rather annoying, but I'll check it. I'll check it. Why not? Was a bit of a shame. Oh, wait. We have Holy Mantle. Checking them is free. Good to remember that, because there's another care for him right here that I didn't even think about. Bone heart, thank you. Oh, we lost it straight away. Apparently I lost my holy mantle at some point during that room. Did not notice in the slightest. Anyways, let's let's go and actually do our boss now. Stop dilly-dallying. We've done this floor twice over now, in, in two very different ways, actually. Would have been nice to grab TM Trainer. It's a little upsetting to not be able to get it, but... Hey, her. That is the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. We got Eternal Mum. Unfortunately, we did get Eternal Mum and an incredibly bad roll on our pail. We got, like, three poops and they were all pretty, pretty poopy. There were poops I didn't much care for. Okay, we got a lot of monsters in the house right now. Definitely Eternal Mum is a bit of a challenge, especially with our current damage stats. In fact, our current damage stats late game, like in the Womb and Feather, I think are really going to be playing a big part in how piss poor we do. Because we've got the health to keep us going. We've even got some of the items to keep us going. But our damage is just low. And when, uh, when we start having boss armor, it's going to become a problem. Luckily, at low damage, boss armor doesn't affect you that much. But it's still going to be a problem. Good, we got ya. Oh, I thought it was soft lock then. It just turns out it was an enemy that I haven't killed. Uh, we'll go Polaroid. Dead Sea Scrolls is unfortunate. We will do that. There's a good amount of damage. Pretty good going then. We've got a soul heart of that too. And an eternal heart there too. Okay. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, we need really a fire rate and damage increase pretty quickly here. I'm hoping that our boss room here provides or we get an angel or devil deal that's going to head us in the right direction. Ooh, this could help. This could help. Sensor's decent. We'll take sensor. Does kind of make the mum fight a little more difficult sometimes, but I'm willing to risk it. Double pin. Wouldn't be too bad. Damn. Them bombs were terribly placed. Okay. Double pin's really not that bad at all, actually. I think Broken Murder plus Sensor is actually a really good combo. It gives us such a high chance to delete the bullet out of the air. That we should be pretty much fine for most bosses. Even if it does look a little bad on the outside from some bosses. Trying to use Purgatory whenever I can here because it is actually a sad. It's sad to say, but it is actually a large portion of our damage. Okay. What we need is more more of these poops. Okay, the teeth are trying to get me. No thank you on the teeth. God damn, the fire rate's just so low. We got a lucky penny here somewhere. There you go. Don't even really know if we need lucky pennies at all, to be honest, but... Every little helps, I guess. Every little helps. But it's kind of what I was saying earlier about the run. Kind of as we get into the late game, we transition a little more into Isaac Heavy Talk. Just because I feel like that's like... I don't know, it, it's... It sounds a bit rude to people that watch all the way through, and I, those of you that do, I appreciate. But I feel like more people watch the earlier half of the video, and people that, like, watch these videos to go to bed, which I know a lot of people do, um, will get more enjoyment out of the first half where they're awake, than the second half where it's just me kind of, I wouldn't say rambling, but talking more about the gameplay and about the decisions I'm making, things like that. Um, either way, I'm, uh, I'm having a good time, so wait, I'm confused. This room has confused me deeply. I thought the spikes were going to go down at some point. They most certainly did not. I only took one hit though, so... Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. 
One thing I've been struggling a little bit with recently with YouTube, and this is a an absolute suffering from from success moment, is it's been difficult to keep up with comments. I I am um, I pride myself on the uh, the fact that I try to reply to literally every single comment on every video whenever I can. I really do try my hardest. Um, but recently it's been a little more difficult to keep up, and it's simply because I've got more people commenting and more viewership, which is a good thing. But it is also a little sad that I'm not able to reply to some comments. I mean, I say that I very rarely miss any. It just means sometimes I'm a day or two late to replying to them rather than replying to them as they come out. Normally, I try to reply within the first, like, six or seven hours of the comment being made. And I've not really been able to keep up with that quite as much. And I realize that, like, you guys are probably completely fine with that and you guys don't really mind if it's a late reply or sometimes I don't reply at all as long as I'm reading them. But I really do like to. I really do like to. It's one of my favorite parts about YouTube is seeing seeing people's comments and getting to reply to them all and stuff. Because as I've said before, it kind of just adds, it adds a name to the view. Like, th having a view account on a video is all well and good, but it could just be bots for all I know. There's no validity to them, really. I mean, I know that they're not, but there's no actual validity to them. But when people actually comment, now I've got, I can put a name to that view counter. And it really helps to, to make it a bit more real. Make it feel a bit more like personal like people actually enjoy my content and stuff so i always appreciate comments that it's the best way for me to uh understand how people are feeling about the content okay we're plowing through that at the minute we're plowing through i'm just a little worried i'm a little worried about the mum fight i think it's going to be quite a challenge i think it's going to be quite a challenge especially when we lose our buddy oh, look, look how slow we're going here I mean our our little wispies help our little locusts they are definitely helping but is it enough though also these dudes are going to start jumping towards us soon yep there you go Good bit of damage there. Mr. Fred's an interesting boss. I quite like him. It's weird that he's like so rare. Okay, I need this creep to clear out so I can actually kill these dudes. And we get fire rate. Very nice. Spawns three random hearts. And this is two. That's a bit too late to be honest. I apologize to you. But that's a nice amount of flies, and I think... Oh, I mean, I'm an idiot. I was like, I think we can destroy this guy to abyss it. I don't have enough... I don't have enough charge to abyss this. I should have done it the other way around. That was kind of stupid of me. I'm just wasting my own time and yours here. He isn't really attacking me, though, which is nice. Spawned a baby. That's not too big of a problem, though. There you go. Baby dead. He doesn't even spawn a key. What piece? What am I doing? I've already got the key pieces, you fool. Like, this is going to be a run where I don't really think Mega Satan is actually in the cards for us, to be honest. Like, Mega Satan seems like it's going to be a really big push for us. Nice. Actually getting a few more lead pencils out there now, which is good. God damn, our key situation and money situation is pretty crazy right now. That's why I'm kind of leaving it about. By the way, people comment all the time about me leaving stuff behind and getting, getting frustrated. I'm sorry, but that's just the way I play. It's the way I've always played. It's the way I'll always play. Sometimes I'm going to leave a key behind three floors ago and then complain later on that I have no keys. That's just how I roll. I know that it's not a good way to play the game, at least to some people, but it's how I play, it's how I enjoy playing, and it's how I'll always play. Just to clear that up. Nice. That's some giggy bombs. Crack that open. Grab that back. Charge that up. Beautiful. Sh 
shortcut to the curse room, I guess. Hey oh, more of the void. Okay, that that could solve some of our damage issues. We also got another one of these, which I find odd. Oh, we get double more of the void as well. I forgot about that. Oh, we've got our little dude active. He also has more of the void. Don't really need that eternal heart. Okay. I think this has kicked us off into a good spot. I do think it is a little crazy to be able to get red items like that from your cash room, but... Eh. It kind of works. It kind of works. And I did get it from a red cash room. Or a cash room that I got to via a red room, should I say. So it's not super, super bad. But it's a little strong. Oh, my God. I went every which wrong way. So annoying when that happens. We've got an absolute train following us now, though. It's quite funny. Okay, eternal boss here. Not too bad, to be honest. Lost my holy mantle there, but it's fine. I realized that I'm leaving a bunch of red hearts behind that I do could probably be grabbing, but it's like I've got full health and I've got no need for the additional health right now, so why bother? I just I assess my situation as I play and see if I need the additional things. If I don't, then I just don't grab them because I don't need them. Situation like this, I will check at least because we could get an item out of this golden chest. But well, I'm not going to grab those bombs or those keys because it's like, I just don't need them. There's a rune there, but it ain't going to make much of a difference to the run at this point, so. Broken Murdom has these guys catatonic right now. Got a golden penny in there somewhere. That's okay. Again, don't really need it. We're at 96 pennies, but... Thank you, nonetheless. A little annoyed that both of my Pergatories are in such terrible positions there, but I'll accept it. Okay. Try and do as much damage to this guy as we can with more of the Void. Try and get bombs in there. Oh, God, that's double Giga Bombs. Yeah, that kills Mum pretty fast. Shattered Stone. I thought it said Shannon Stone at first. Just Shattered Stone. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Just a double gigabomb drop. You know how it is. I'm going to save some of those for Isaac as well. I think that'll do us a pretty good job of killing that boss too. Use more of the void whenever we can. And keep her going. God damn, yeah. More of the void plus this broken mode and setup is pretty tasty. Having it doubled with our little dude is, is pretty excellent as well. Like, oh, that chunky damage. Like, I've got an Eternal Boy here. He's probably going to hit us a, a time or twice. We'll try to get extra damage on him, but it ain't going to be super easy. Should take the hit. There we go. That worked out. Just face tank. Face tank is the best way. Get our more of the void ready before we head into the next room. And it does a good job. It doesn't insta-kill because more of the void does still scale off of our damage. And our damage for this floor is still pretty low. So there is kind of that to think about. But it does a good enough job. Beautiful. Beeline it through some of these rooms at this point. The slowdown from sensor is great as well. Don't know what this thing is, but it wanted dead. I'm not dealing with too many eternal enemies at this point as well. We're doing okay. I think the eternal bosses have been a lot more reasonable recently. There's another eternal guy there, actually. He has a big brimstone, and he has creep as well. I am intrigued by those, because I didn't realise that they wouldn't uh, have, like, additional health, which I don't think they do. Have it all. Take it all. Oh, fruitcake. It's one of my favourite items in the game. 
How kind of you. Not only... Okay, I also went completely the wrong way again. Not only got one of my favourite items in the game, but a pretty huge DPS upgrade. Especially with our little buddy helping to keep it going. A lot of different tier effects add damage here, so... It's going to be quite nice. This is going to be quite nice. Whoa. we got a dude here looking all sorts of balked up. I think it's because he was eternal and had a skin on him. The game didn't like that. Okay, even more of the void is gaining some of the fruitcake effects too. It's beautiful. You know it is. Oh. <laughs> Teeny tiny boy over here. Worth it. Need the damage. It's going to help more of the void. It's going to help everything else. It's just good. Card pack opening. Death, Justice, Empress. We'll at least pop Justice. I'm taking the Hierophant with me just in case here. Just kind of got it into. Dead. Didn't kill him. Did a good job though. Might make our life slightly easier with dodging this. Okay, it doesn't quite reach over there, unfortunately. Okay, that's what I want, my more of the void to kick in. A lot of damage done to you there, there you go. The chest is going to have a weird time placing itself here. Grab myself that. And I think we're in the best position we've ever been in for this floor, actually. Despite the fact that I thought this was going to be an absolute struggle. Mega Satan is still a bit up in the air. Tears Up definitely helps with that. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. That's a double Eternal Boy here. Thank God he doesn't spawn Eternal Champions. That would be awful. Yeah. I did try to use a Giga Bomb on him, but I don't have any left. Tooth and Nail's pretty nice. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I did, I did try to use those poops there, but I just destroyed them straight away. This room's a little scary. There's a lot of fiery bombs going on around here. The enemies are dying very quickly, but there is a lot of fire. Oh, hello, it's you again. Yeah, we got good damage now. That's even better. Now our tears have lasers around them. Whoa! Um, where on earth did that brimstone come from? Not quite sure why, but we're firing brimstones now. Legitimately have no idea what has caused that, but I will not complain. That is quite the development. It seems to be tied to more of the void for some reason. It seems to only fire right as well, by the way. I don't know why that is. And it's always curled, too. Yeah, I literally can't fire it any other way. Intriguing. Definitely intriguing. Whoa, that was, like, so long. Wait a minute, let me just test something. Okay, no. I thought it was just going to never stop. But it, do, it's just, it just ends very abruptly is all. I can shoot it around the corner. I'm carving it. Care for the brimstone. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is an intriguing run now. I don't know what the hell's happened, but I like it. Okay, you're almost dead as well. We don't need to use the brimstone every time, but it is pretty nice to do so. Okay, I think Blue Baby's going to get wrecked. I still don't really know about Mega Satan because we can't use the brimstone against him very, very effectively at all. Soul heart there for some reason or another. There you go, easy breezy. Blasting through these rooms at least. Okay, we both just lost our holy mantle. I really don't want to lose my ghost buddy before the end of this floor. Nine lives. Unfortunately, I do not want that, so I will just take that. That's a lot of flies we just got there. Nice. This is an et this is eternal bastasis. This, this is indeed eternal bastasis. There's a black rune there. We'll see if that becomes useful. I don't know if it will. Black heart there though. That helps. Blue Baby should be the room after this one, I think, depending on if we go the right way or not. Stop with the Mega Troll Bombs, you trolls. Stop it. We do have a Dawn Mimic here as well. We did get a Devil Deal Teleport here. Whoa. Why is this Damocles free? Do I actually want Damocles? I feel like it's a big fat no, right? Because it could just kill me for no reason. What on earth is happening right now? What just happened then? I bought Damocles and I didn't actually want it. It is what it is. This run's very wacky now. It's become very wacky. God, this floor's so big as well. What's going on? Yeah, it does seem to be more of the void that's causing the brimstone, too. I've been checking as we go, and it does definitely seem to be. I can't believe how long this floor's been. We've got a giant poop on the blue baby fight. I got hit by a massive explosion. Please don't lose my little fly, uh, fly baby, my little ghost baby, in this fight. That would be so upsetting. He is taking a beating though, like, he is really, really not dying very quickly at all, considering the, uh, the current circumstance. I'm trying to use bombs whenever I can, but it's a little difficult to actually get them to hit. But, he is going down. We have got him. This is more of a boss fight. This feels like a boss fight. I don't know about you, but it feels like I really have to give him the beating for him to go down. Good. There you go. We got him. Vault of Havoc is unlocked. Right. Let's try and go back and do Mega Satan. I'm not super convinced we can, I'll be honest. But there's no harm in trying now. We've got our unlocks. The only harm is to our streak, potentially. Which I'm not all that attached to yet. Well, let's go. I think I want to bring, bring the soul of Blue Baby in with me. I think that's the best thing to bring. Just because I can lay down some poop slick to get us extra fire it. Wherever the soul of Blue Baby was. I don't remember where it was now. Okay, it's next room. I know that a Hierophant is maybe better, but Soul Blue Baby could really help us out. Stay still.
I can use my brimstone to hurt him, but I have to stand in a very particular location. Okay, we got a card out of that guy. Sadly, just a hermit, though. Was hoping for something a little more useful, but I guess not. His little horsey stick needs to die too. Oh my god. Okay, both the hands are down. Fly somewhere else, you. Oh god. Did not see you spawn there. Even though I kn you spawn there literally every single time. And I should know that. Oh, I think I lost my baby. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ah. Ah. No, there you go. It's dead. It's dead. My child. My sweet summer child is dead. Kind of annoying because it halves our damage pretty much. Trying to make sure I can use Brimstone whenever possible, but it is a little difficult to get into a position where I can. Ow. There you go. We're into the, the main chunk of the fight now, though. We've got Golden Bombs as well, which is going to help a lot. Ooh, now this could be a bit spicy with sensor. There you go. I think he's down. There you go. Second phase. Oh, God. He's a bit of a difficult boy, this boy. Proving to be quite the rapscallion. Bomb damage is really good, though. We're doing, like, 10% health with every bomb, pretty much. Which is very hard to actually make the bombs hit him without, like, standing in front of his face. I have to kind of push them, but it's very difficult to push them correctly. Okay, stand in the poop. And I think we've just about got him. There you go. That was a struggle. That was a struggle, but we made it. We made it. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A very fun one indeed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.